All right, everybody. Um, we're going to start the series on prepping bodies and doing patterns and stuff like that. So this will be number one on prepping stuff. I'll do it real quick. Um, each video will be... Um, you know, just a few minutes on the start. Um, I have two bodies to paint. One is the 359 Pete, and one is the Cutlass. Uh, the Cutlass is full patterned out, lowrider style. And the other one is the 359 Pete. It's, uh, going to be, uh, haven't decided yet, uh, the guy that I'm painting it for is a member of my local club. Um, he, he, <laughs> he basically said to do what I want, but gave me a color, which is a, like a butternut color, but I'm going to pattern once I do the primer, I'm going to play with some stuff. But let's start with this. Um, I'm not going to go pretty much do everything with it for you guys. Um, just the light gray scotch bright. You guys that do sandpaper, you really don't have to do that. Um, you see how it's shiny and showing reflection in it and how it's real shiny? You just kind of go like this with this gray scotch bite right and if it rolls up like this kind of you might have to knock it over with, you know white it with a little sandpaper a little 600 but see how it's knocking this the shine right off of it that's what you want that's the perfect key for the your primer and it's not where it's going to have scratch marks in it either with the, the scotch bright and it's kind of if you can't get it in there use your fingernail now I did a mold line there where that was pretty heavy See how it knocks it right down? And like where it's got the emblem right there, it won't disturb that either. It'll go right through that. And these little rivets, it'll go right over top of them as long as you don't put too much pressure on it. And see how it's, 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 not shiny, but it's 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 kind of dullish. That's what you want to go for. Like on the roof of the cutlass, you just kind of and if you do this, it'll show you any flaw that's in the plastic that you got to work out too. See, there's a low spot. That tells me I got to put a little bit of filler right there. Now, this cutlass is going to be a low rider for Columbus. So, I definitely want a little bit of filler there. Unless I sand it out and with like 400 and make it straight that way. But with this being going to be a low rider, I think I might just put a little bit of spot putty there in a little bit. And then I'll feather it out. See, it's nice and straight down here.
But basically, that's all I do to uh, prep my bodies. And once I get all this stuff scratch brighted and and washed off, we'll, uh, we'll head over to the booth and uh, I'll spray a little bit of primer for you guys. And uh, actually... The next video, I'm going to discuss all the products I'm going to use for patterns, flakes, everything I'm going to use in the series for the uh, the taping, the patterns, the flakes, and everything I'm going to use for it. So that'll be the very next video. So hold tight, and uh, we'll be back here in a little while. And uh, I'll gather, I'll have all this scotch brighted, washed, mounted, and uh, then I'll have everything out here for what we're going to use. That'll be part two. Then part three, we'll have doing the primers and stuff like that. So hold tight, and we'll be back in a little while.